Jason Howard here with um, Third Movement. I want to bring a video to you guys about discipline, um, self-discipline, self-control, you know, about controlling oneself, controlling one, um, one actions, controlling one um, thoughts, and, and all. In Proverbs, it says, in, in, in Proverbs 25 and 28, it says, A city without walls is like a man that does not have self-control or does not have discipline. Understanding a city and and um and, and around Jesus times, they was built with walls around them. It would be a big city with walls around them, so they can control who goes in and who goes out. Kind of like today, um, today's um, gated community. You know, there's gates all around the whole community, so they can really control who goes in and who goes out. So, the Bible lacks that to a man with discipline. If you have the walls and lacking it um, to a man without discipline, the one that have no walls up or no gates around it. Um, even the um, great song by um, what's his name, Fred Hammond, says that Jesus be a fence around me, and, and, and the whole idea of that is Jesus, you know, protect me from things that are trying to come in me. But also, you know, um, filter the things that are coming out of me. The fit, the defense, and the um, what you call this twofold. It is to protect what's going in me, um, and what's going coming out of me. Because people will go into cities and just steal, and be able to get out and leave in in many directions. So when they put up the fence and say, okay, well, only one person can come. If there's only one way you can come in, they had guards at the gate. And you had to really let them know why you was there, how long you was going to be there. And, 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 and really, you know, um, um, you know, so and, and they, checked you, they checked you on the way out. So they can know the reason why, um, what was you here for, and make sure you hadn't did anything wrong, committed a crime, came in to kill somebody and left. You know, um, and then that's the whole idea with us behind the having the walls up. You know, we have to have the walls up so we can know what's coming in me, know what's coming at me, know what I should subst uh, uh, um, allow around me. Because the things that's come in you are going to be the very thing that's going to get into your heart and, and, and really, you know, control what your actions are. So you got you to gotta be aware of what goes in you. And you got to be aware of what goes out of you. You got to make sure you have uh, a control. Make sure you have control of your actions. Make sure you're doing the thing that you're known to do. Now, here's the deal. You have to look and see what controls your action. As Christians, the Word of God should control our actions. The Word of God should literally be the fence. You know, um... We we should be controlled by by you know the the, the command of God that says you know don't commit mur murder don't commit adultery you know all these things you know be respectful. We literally should have the word as the word of God the, the Holy Bible and the things that's in the Bible as our as our fence and let that guard our heart because you know if you if you have the word of God and you know the word of God and you know that okay I can see things coming. I can see see how people come in. Um the um the proverbs uh, tell you about the foolish man. I mean if you go to um the next chapter over, chapter twenty six, um and, and the first verse it talks about the fool. So it's filled with, you know, you know, a thing that you should uh, let around you. Men, I mean, it's in here how to find a wife. You know, Proverbs thirty one. Uh, women, Proverbs 31, tell you how to be a wife. You know, the, I mean, the Word of God will tell you everything, tell you how to um, control yourself, tell you how to live this life. You know, we're living in a day where everybody is living out, out in their own, on their, on their own wills with no control because what you want to do doesn't mean that you should automatically do. That's not freedom. Freedom is the choice to do right or wrong. People really, really, really need to understand that. All freedom is is having that choice to do right and wrong. Freedom is not doing whatever you want to do. Freedom is, is the ability to understand that I have a choice to go do this, 
But before I go do that, I can I have the choice to educate myself on going to do that. You know, um, people think that freedom means that you can go and be, you know, ungodly or you can go and be, you know, anything. You can go and do anything, your own desires and your own. No, freedom is, all freedom is, is having a choice. That's all freedom is. Having a choice to choose from right or wrong. Having a choice to choose um, to, 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 to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior or not. That's all freedom is. Freedom is having a choice. Even inside of freedom, and even inside of the society that we call free, there's rules. Now, the rules are nothing. The rules are nothing if you don't choose to follow those rules. That's, that's true freedom. A lot of times we get mixed up and see that freedom is, you know, not being in chains. No, that's not. Being locked up is just because you're locked up doesn't mean you're not free. It's the aspect of when they lock lock you up and make you do what they want you to do, that they that you're not free. Some people are in bondages. Some people are in chains, and I'm not talking about physical, but mental chains, and they're not free because I mean, and they're free. They're being they they they're in physical bondage and everything, but they're free. They're free to do their actions. They're free to do whatever they want. They think that, you know, because you're, you're, you're in bondage and everything, that, you know, people out there in bondage and everything, they're still, like, okay, choosing to have unmarried sex, you know. And consequences coming to that, you know. But we see how the, the sexual diseases are sky high. Now there's a, there's a cancer that you can get from having oral sex. That's crazy. But, see, because you think freedom is to do anything you want to do, our freedom is to go and, 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 and commit sins or be disrespectful to God. That's what freedom has became. We, we we are finding ourselves, you know, I'm sorry, but if you if you have a sexual disease, you're in bondage to that disease. You're going to, I mean, take a, take a disease like AIDS, you know, that, well, I'm not going to say AIDS because you can get that in, in other ways, but, and I don't know too many sexual diseases, I don't. But just say, you know, you got a sexual disease that that, that, that that calls for you to take medicines. That's not being free. You're in bondage to that disease. You think you're free, but you're not free. You have to do what you have to take these medicines to save your life. Or you have to take these medicines to, to keep healthy. That's not free. Freedom is having a choice to choose. That's all freedom is. And um, I know I totally got off subject. But going back to the man with self-control, the man with self-control, understand that. Understand that you had a freedom to choose. We understand that we have the, 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 the freedom to make right choices. We, have, we, have, we understand that we got the freedom to make educated choices. Make choices that, that's been thought about. Make, make choices that have been, been plundered over. Not something just, just to jump into. That's not freedom. That's not, that's not freedom at all. That's bondage when you're making choices because of some kind of desire. When you're making choices according to some kind of pleasure. Now you from you now you have no control. Now the choices that you make are being controlled by it, by by by, by the choices. What I mean by that is if if you if you choose to go out there and have um unmarried sex and you're married. Now, um, marriage, the, the, the adultery is, is what's using you. You're not making a choice. The adultery is making it for you because you're burning it in, in, into lust. Lust is, 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 is making the choices for you. So you're not free. You're in bondage. So an undisciplined man understands that. An uh, undisciplined me, me, a disciplined man understands that. A man with self-control understands that. A man with self-control says that, okay, I can have a lot, but I only need to have what I need. You know, um, uh, we're living in a day where, you know, uh, people are ratchet, men and women. You know, men and women are allowing you to have multiple partners. But because you but because you are allowed to do it doesn't mean you, you have the right to do it. You know, like I said, freedom is, is making that choice. Now, once you make that choice to do it, you're free in making that choice. You understand, but 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 a self-controlled man make a choice with edu make educated choices. Don't make choices according to his lust. Doesn't make choices according to to the fleshly things. Doesn't make choices because everybody else is doing it. A man with self-control 
controls everything about his it controls his action controls his his household controls his environment controls his cars controls everything about him so don't 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 be that dude that has no control man and understand that we we have the freedom to choose there's nations out there that doesn't have that freedom to make choices so that's all that's all freedom really is do they sound I'm third moving them out